Hello guys and welcome to To Vacuum Do Us Part. Today's video is gonna be my spring home tour. So we're gonna be walking through the house and showing you just all the home refreshes I've done recently. I've done a lot on camera recently, like the last couple days I've done a lot off camera. So there's lots of changes to go over with you guys. Um, so I hope you enjoy these videos. If you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. But now let's get to it. Yay! Sorry if it's a little windy, but I always like starting outside during a home tour just because you want to see what you're looking at. <laughs> and so we're going to head inside, but I do want to thank the Home Depot for sponsoring today's video. So I wanted to show you some options on the outside. So we have these planters with greenery in them, and I wanted to show you real versus faux. So they have both and they have different styles. Like this one's a little bit more uniformed. They have different options of each real and fake, but I wanted to show you like if you wanted faux greenery outside because you can't keep it alive, it actually looks really good, especially like from the road. So obviously that looks good, but this looks good as well. But now we're gonna go inside and start right here in our entryway. So we didn't even get like two steps inside the house and there's already been a big change, which is right here in our entryway. I love change, but I feel like my entryways, I'm always changing up. Um, my first couple of houses, we didn't really have a entryway. Like you walked into the living room. So I think I just really love having this space and decorating it. Um, and when I saw this bench, I was like, okay, I have to have it. <laughs> and so we put it here. The other reason I really like it is because I've always wanted a runner here. Like I just felt like it would look so good, but all my other stuff was so like wide, the runner would have to be moved to the left and then it wasn't centered with the door and it would always drive me crazy. But I feel like we finally found like a good setup where I have a bench, I have my mirror and I get to have the runner centered with our front door. I'll open this up real fast, but if you guys are wanting to see like how I stay organized or how everything is organized, my last home tour video was an organizational home tour. So definitely go back and watch that and you can just see how everything was done and like inside cabinets, inside drawers, all of that stuff, even in my kitchen. But now we're gonna turn and go into my office. Once again, we're in our second space and I've done some refresh in here. I added this mirror here that used to be like in the hallway to our bedroom. Here's another angle just so you can see it. Um, so like when I'm sitting here, I think it's so pretty getting to see that view. Someone can sit over there. If they do, I'll just like pull my screen to the middle. And then I'm typically looking out, but I'm just trying to help with all the glares of the camera. Um, I do want to mention this desk is from the Home Depot. I get asked about it all the time um, and it is so good. Like it is so sturdy. I would never want to move this. And so Chase put one in his office as well. Now let's talk about the guest bedroom. I am loving this space since we switched um, out the beds in here. I've added more neutrals. I don't know, I feel like it's finally coming together. Here is a different look, just so you can see it from a different side. And I do wanna talk about the Home Depot real quickly, because like I mentioned earlier, they are sponsoring it. So big shout out to the Home Depot. We appreciate them. But they are gonna be having a bring on a spring event, and you're gonna be getting up to 25% off select items, like furniture, decor, kitchen accessories, kind of the things you don't think of when you think of the Home Depot. Like we think of lumber, and tools and like big projects, but you can like DIY things, not only like <laughs> creating things, but like decorate it yourself. We can change up the do it yourself to decorate it yourself. Um, and they have so many good finds. So the first find I'm gonna show you is <laughs> this little tray right here. So anytime anybody gets sick in my house, I just let them stay in bed, especially Savannah. I baby her all the time when she's sick. Just feel like that's a mom's job. And I love just being able to bring food on her bed um, and her eat. And I've always used like trays and platters and different things. But when I saw this, I was like, 
that's it. That's what I want. I love that her legs can still go underneath it. It's really cute to decorate with. Like you could throw some books or candle and candy out here for guests. You could use it, like I said, bring food on for your guests or maybe your loved one. Chase could bring me breakfast in bed. <laughs> that would be lovely too. Or when I'm sick. Um, it also angles up and down. So you could sit in bed or on your sofa. Like this doesn't have to be the bed, clearly. Um, you could sit on your sofa and the top does angle. So you could put your like laptop or iPad or whatever on it. You could read a book. So many good functions for such a small piece. So keep that in mind. Like I just love something like that. Then the legs can like tuck in and you can slide it and hide it and put it away if you want to. I like decorating with them. Like it just feels so cozy when our guests come. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, another thing is in here. For our guests, I love having a luggage rack. And I had one a few houses ago. And then um, I think I shared it with my mother-in-law. I don't know what happened to it. I get itchy, you guys know. <laughs> but I've missed it when like all of our family's coming in so they can just open up their luggage. Does anybody do this at a hotel? Like I immediately come in and I live out of my suitcase like this. Now like Chase and Savannah will unpack. Like I'm not putting my stuff in drawers. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't wanna have to pack it up later. So I always go straight to the luggage rack. So my guests can do that. They can store stuff underneath. I just feel like if you have guests coming over, it's just a nice piece to have. And then you can fold it up slide it and like put it behind your clothes or you know it it hides really well but the other thing I grabbed was luggage we're starting to travel more and I always have just the carry-on size for when we travel but when we're going to like dance competitions I'm like I need more this isn't enough so this whole set came and it nests within each other so you just have to store the big one because this one will fit in that one and then that one will fit in this one then when I have to travel, I can choose what like size I need. So who would think of the Home Depot for luggage? Not me, but when I did, like I snatched it up so quick. Okay, and one last look. Obviously I need to take that sticker off. <laughs> so you can see how this space is set up and then it's got the bathroom attached right here. And then the shower tub combo, toilets right there but this is the guest bedroom. But another thing I wanna show you before we move on to the master bedroom is this mirror. It was another thing I picked up from the Home Depot and I love it here. So that's why I put the mirror that was here <laughs> into my front office. But I just loved how this one was squared off. It's very modern and clean and crisp. And we were able to um, like hang this one on the wall. You don't have to, you can lean it. But this was always getting so dirty behind it because of like George and all his fur that I opted to hang it. So this is a good way if you're getting a smaller mirror but you want it to look bigger or to go closer to the ceiling, just hang it. Like look how much I gained just putting it above like the baseboard. So I wanted to show you this too because I feel like it's perfect in this little like hallway. Also, I wanted to mention that they do free shipping on orders over $45. So that's something good to keep in mind. Um, and they just have so many good products at really good prices that you're not thinking that they carry. So as I walk through my house, I'm gonna point out things that I've purchased from the Home Depot. So you're like, wow, I didn't realize that's from there. And there are things that people ask me about all the time. So I do wanna thank the Home Depot again for sponsoring today's video. They're having their big spring event March 21st through April 3rd. Don't miss it. The link is down below my description box. But now let's get back to the home tour. So our bedroom is like the one space I probably haven't changed. Um, if you guys are caught up on the makeover we did in here, I think everything's the same. We're loving it. Nope, I added the bench. So this is the bench that we had in our entryway, but that's minor details. I feel like other than that, like the majority of things are the same. So same bed, same bedding, still loving all that. The lamps, the artwork, the mirror, everything in here is just... Perfect, like I love what we did with this space. I've still been on the hunt for like a chair lounge over there. Have not found it. Well, I've found some, they're just really pricey. So I'm holding out for like Facebook Marketplace or a good sell. Maybe the Home Depot will help me out. Definitely gonna be on the lookout. Um, but other than that, everything's perfect in here. And now onto our bathroom. So this is a space that doesn't really change either because we don't keep decor in here. I just like it very simple, very easy to clean. So over here is my side. I do wanna mention again, if you're new here and miss my organizational home tour, if you wanna see inside all of this, I open that up. So this is my side of the bathroom. Over here is my husband's side. Um, so it's just nice we're separate because one of us keeps our seat clean and one of us doesn't. 
And full disclaimer, the dirty one's always mine. <laughs> I think it's because like makeup, hair products, all that. He's way cleaner, but he has his whole setup over there. Plenty of storage for him. And then as you walk into this space, we have like our bathtub. I've gotten to take so many more baths <laughs> since the last couple home tours. Every time I show this, I'm like, I just demanded this bathtub. Like I wanted a freestanding bathtub in here so I could use, and then I hadn't used it for months. I finally am using it more and it's so nice in the evening. And then over here, I'm gonna be sure and take you into the shower. Last time I guess I didn't walk into the shower and a lot of you I think were yelling at me at the screen of like, you know, in all caps, like you didn't take us into the shower. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> um, right here was a piece we added, like we just redesigned this whole shower bathtub area um, when we created this house. But this is where I keep like all of our extra towels and then laundry, but, I don't like a glass door. I like privacy and I don't like cleaning it. <laughs> so this was our setup. It's a lot like our last house if you guys have been here. But what you're gonna do is you walk in and you turn. And so like all of our products are there and then you turn again and then like here's the shower. Here's our like handle so I can turn it on and let it get warm without walking in there. People ask all the time, do you get cold? We never get cold. I think because it's like a smaller area and like we're way back here and there's this wall, we never get cold at all. So it's perfect for us, but that is the shower <laughs> if you were wanting to see it. And then it connects in here to our master closet. Um, we went back and forth when we were moving into this house, <laughs> like who gets what side, and I think we did it really well. So Chase is over here. I'm on this side. I will say at the one year mark, which is this summer, it may even be my next home tour video. I'm gonna do like a year later. I'm gonna show you the first video of when we walked through this house with it finished. And then I'm gonna walk through it again, showing it what it looks like one year later. And then I'm gonna talk about like the hits and misses, like the upgrades we did that were regrets the upgrades we did that we love, things we wish we would have done, the things we wish we wouldn't have done, like all that nitty gritty. So if you're building or just like to hear the process, I think that'll probably be the next home channel or home video on this channel. This is our mudroom area. I took everything off that shelf and I love it. Like I love it. <laughs> I've decorated that so many different ways and it just always went like cluttered or farmhousey could not figure it out. And so I finally just took it away one day and I'm like, I love it. We probably could have saved money and not put a shelf there, but I still kind of like that there's a shelf there, like breaks up the wall. So I'm sure one day I'll put something up there when I find it. But right now I think it's perfect. I do keep this basket here just so like keys and different things we can throw in there, like when we come and go. And then real life, I do cram things underneath these. These are like my outdoor shoes. And then stuff I need to take to family or friends. I just like tuck it under there. So I'm really glad we have those cubbies. And I'm glad we took the floor all the way in there and didn't have a full cubby. These get so dusty, <laughs> but my little like robo -vac vacuum literally goes into every one of those and cleans it for me. So that's a win, don't like, put a floor, like keep a floor in there. Don't like build those out and have it raised with a basket. Leave it open and you'll thank me later. Then over here is our laundry room, our utility room, whatever you want to call it. It's my little piece of heaven. Chase has his building. I have my laundry room. The first change in here is I did add a rug. I'm still trying to decide if I love it or hate it. Um, I don't know if I don't like the circle. I don't know if I don't like the design or the color. Savannah and Chase, once again, they love it. So I'm like, okay, maybe it needs to grow on me. It's kind of hard for you to tell. Lighting in here is hard with that window, um, but I'm getting used to it. It's really nice because the dogs hang out in here a lot. So I wanted them a place to lay without having like beds everywhere. So they love it too. The only person that can't decide is me. So fingers crossed it lasts, or maybe like I'll just try a different shape or color. Um, other things in here, I've just decluttered a whole lot. Like I used to have a lot of stuff up here. I've gotten rid of it. Um, I used to always have hangers up there and it drove me crazy. And we need hangers because this is like where we hang dry our clothes. But if I had a lot, like I didn't give myself much space, but that's all I need. But I would have so many hangers, I couldn't like space them out. And this cabinet was empty and I never knew what to do with it. So I put our hangers in it. There's extra Walmart sacks too, just for like trash can. But like, it's so perfect. It's right here. This is where I stand and like hang up our clothes. So it only took me like, I don't know, 
10 months, 11 months, <laughs> but that's the perfect spot for them. I just wish I would have thought of it sooner, but it is so nice. And now that stays nice and empty. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but small things like that are just like a huge win. Now here's the other side. So this is why sometimes I call it a utility room. Some people call it a back kitchen, other than I didn't put a dishwasher in here. So it called for one here, but I don't love cooking, so I didn't really think we needed a second dishwasher. Now Chase does a lot of the dog's food in here and we do like the fresh dog food. So I think he would have liked it. So one day if we ever want to, we could totally like cut that out and put a dishwasher. And then it really is a back kitchen. But I told my builder, I do not want double ovens. I want double microwaves. <laughs> and so I put one in here so it didn't look weird, but we use it all the time. Like when it's just us at home or like when we're hosting and have family over, having a second microwave is like, goals um, and then we've always had a drink fridge and it's normally out in the garage so this time I'm like we're building it into the house I'm sick of going out to our scary dirty garage <laughs> I just want it inside and so it's so nice we are the hosting house so it's just nice that we like stay stocked in here when anyone comes over a worker a friend whatever I know I have drinks in there for them and then the freezer is just like overflow from our kitchen. Um, I did move their treats over here because this is like where I come in to do it and then I don't have to look at them there. The lamp used to be over there. I like it here. I don't know if I like that lamp. I think my problem with this space is it's getting a little glam with the rug and the gold lamp. So I might switch something out. <laughs> but once again, if you wanna see inside these cabinets, check out that other video, but this is how the space is set up. Okay, so right here's our first powder bathroom. I actually prefer this over the toilet room, like in our bathroom down there, just because you have a little more space. Like I feel like you're not so like confined. I am very claustrophobic person. So I just like this space. I feel like Chase uses a lot too. Plus it's our guest, like it's our powder bathroom right here, but it is super helpful and nice. And then as you walk down here, this is our pantry. We do have a video like working on it. So the first one was when we first moved in and it worked, but you know, as you live somewhere, you figure things out. Um, so I redid it and that's the most recent patio, not patio, <laughs> pantry makeover. Um, words are hard sometimes, but it's the most recent um, pantry makeover. And I love how it is and it's functioning so well. And that's how you know you have a good system is if it maintains itself. Like I haven't cleaned this up at all and it's just staying very organized. Um, another product we got from the Home Depot is their Ninja Blender. Um, Chase does smoothies all the time and he doesn't like when they don't mix. And so he grabbed that and he has one almost every single day and loves it. So don't forget about like small kitchen appliances with them. I know that doesn't like come to mind, but they do that as well. And then right here, our vacuum closet is one of my favorite things ever. We added this in last minute and added an outlet. And I just love that I have everything on hand right there charging. This is our kitchen, dining room, and then back into the living room. Now, as we come into our living room, we do have an open floor plan. So you're gonna see we have like the living room and everything right here. Um, and then the dining room and the kitchen. Um, I'll kind of just start with the living room right here. If you guys watched my spring decorate video, you guys are probably already yelling at me through the camera. I did take a lot of it out. I tried so hard. Like I loved all those pillows. I loved the colors. I loved the design. When everything was like crammed in our cart, I was like, oh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And I would love it in someone else's house. But here it just couldn't. I like things very simple. I will show when we go more into the dining room over there. I did keep those green pillows, but as far as um, right here in our living room. I think the only thing I kept was like the greenery here. And then I did rework our shelves. So the shelves are always the scariest thing for me. I don't like keeping a lot of clutter, a lot of things. And so we added shelves in here during the building process. I was like, oh, it's just gonna be so hard. And it has, but I feel like we always figure it out. So there's a lot of stuff up there. So I try to keep everything else simple. So if I had like a really busy coffee table, it just competes with these. So I just try to keep like everything up there and everything else calming. But you'll have to let me know what you think about the arrangement. I think this has been my favorite so far. And then here's just kind of a different angle so you can see everything. So in here, I kept the green pillows, <laughs> shocking enough. Um, I feel like since they're one color, there is a pattern to them. Like there's a texture, see how they're kind of like a plaid, but it's not like overbearing. 
I feel like it just gives it a good like deep pop in here. Um, I think I've switched out the greenery too since the last video, maybe. I don't know if I showed that, but I feel like that one looks better in here. I just love that it adds a little bit of warmth to this space because it can just be very bright since it's like all whites and creams and the, you know, like outside light shining in. So I really am liking those pillows, shockingly enough. Um, and then once again, if you wanna see inside my cabinets, check out that other video. But here's just like a different look or a different angle at the same look of this like space. So there's where we came in originally. This is definitely my favorite room of the house. Um, I hope as time goes on, I get to use it more, <laughs> but it was really nice. When family was in for Christmas, they stayed here for the holidays. We could all fit in here and watch Christmas movies. We had the Christmas tree up. It was magical. Um, I do think we used it more in the summer than we did the winter, I guess, because it gets so hot during the summer. And I feel like more kids are out of school, so like more people are at your house. It definitely got used more then. So I'm looking forward to that, but we have like these movies movie theater chairs in here. Um, everything reclines back. We DIY'd the lights. The movie screen's fun. Um, we have a drink fridge in here. It's probably time to refill it. Lots of candy options or snacks. And then this is like the candy section. I try to keep everybody's favorite items in here. So they only have to get up if they want popcorn. Most people will like pop popcorn and then come in here and then they have snacks and drinks and they can just kick back, relax and watch whatever's going on. So I definitely love this space. I just hope we get to use it more one day. <laughs> and we have another powder room right here, which is nice. Um, it gets used more in the summer once again, because I mainly put, I put this door in so we could get to the pool. So if people need to go to the bathroom, they don't have to come through our house. And even if friends come over and we're not gonna be here, I can leave that door unlocked. So they have a bathroom or the kids have a bathroom. I'll show you really fast. It's, it's a good little space in here. Like I said, it doesn't get used much, but then I can lock this from the inside. So if we have workers outside and they need a bathroom, or like I said, friends are coming over, I can shut it, they can't get in, but they still have a bathroom to use while we're here, um, or while they're there swimming. So I'll show you. They can swim, go right there to the bathroom, and we don't even have to be home. So I feel like that's perfect. And then real quickly, I'll take you into Chase's space. It hasn't changed much. We did add this deer photo. He's obsessed with looking at them outside that window. So we found that and put it in, but everything else is the same. I don't know that I've ever shown this closet. And so here it is. It's not really special. <laughs> um, it's got like my tripods in it, a lot of work stuff. Um, recently, Savannah like pared down her homeschool stuff now that she's older she doesn't have like all the crafts and supplies and all of that so that's just like her extra stuff right there in her box and so since she downsized <laughs> this is something new um i was able to take over this linen closet which i haven't had a linen closet since she started pre-k so this was really fun to do but now i have all of our extra like bedding and pillows and sheets you can see and then like pillowcases i've got it all labeled but it is just nice to have this so when company comes over i have everything backed up i have like big old comforters in here basically when we host for christmas like everyone stays here so i feel like i have to keep more than like most people but it's nice to have them on hand when needed Okay guys, and that is a wrap. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's always a lot of fun just going through, seeing all the changes. And I don't know what it is. Every time after I film a home tour, I go and make a big change. Like I do not do it on purpose. It just like happens. So I'm curious to see what it's gonna be this time and when it happens. But I do wanna thank the Home Depot again for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna have their link and the cell and all the details down below in the description box. So don't forget to check that out. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.